Hello YouTube and assorted spam bots on the internet. This is Bard of the Nine News playing Happy Birthday. And I think I know what to do now. Because she's a maid, right? So she would have gloves. Ah, those are the rubber gloves from the mansion's kitchen. I used that exact same pair when washing dishes earlier. I'm a genius. Yes. W wait, that doesn't mean I... I put them back on the shelf where they belonged and never touched them again, I swear. bathroom? Are you freaking serious? Really? Really? You... you gotta be kidding me. She was in the bathroom. She was in the bathroom. Nobody thought to look for the daughter that's missing in the locked bathroom. Oh my god. Oh, it hurts. Darn, the door's locked. I'm not getting any more response from inside either. That was my baby's voice. You have to get her out. Where's the key? Do you have it? I I did have the master key, but after everything, I don't I don't remember where I put it. I've always been poor at keeping track of things, and now I'll find it. Sorry. Try searching the room where I'm staying, the master bedroom. I probably left it inside somewhere. Oh, you're useless. <laughs> I said I have a soft spot for dads, but not for stupid dads. I hope this isn't timed. I don't think it should be if she's just hiding in the bathroom, but... Uh... Get him out. Chair? It's really not... Okay. Uh... Wardrobe. Bookshelf. Clothes. Hey! Oh, here's the master key he must have placed. He must have set it on the bookshelf and misplaced it. Now to get inside that bathroom. He really just couldn't... He's like, try looking in there. Like, you go find it, old man. God. Go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not yet. Miss, I'm coming in. Finish pooping. Mommy, why did Sis get in trouble? Why did Daddy have to go with her to talk to the principal? It sounds scary. It's nothing too serious, sweetheart. She simply isn't working as hard at school as she needs to be. Yeah, I know how that is. Why is school so important anyway? Because good grades mean a good college someday, and a good college means a stable and successful future. <laughs> yeah... Sure... Really? That's right. Wrong. Have you thought about what you might want to be when you grow up, dear? I believe you'd make a fine doctor. I think it'd be really cool to be a detective. So, are these my memories? A detective? Just like in the movies, I could wear a long funny coat, carry around all sorts of strange tools, and bring bad people to justice. <laughs> I'm not sure how much money is in that, dear, but you've still got plenty of time to decide. She's saying your dreams are stupid. <laughs> Anna. <laughs> oh, I have to go talk to her. Shut up, oh my god. Don't have time. Who, who are you? You're Anna's sister, aren't you? Y yes, that's right. Anna, she was... I'm sorry, but I'm glad that you're safe, at least. Your family's been worrying themselves sick. I just... I couldn't go out there, not when... I saw what happened. I was... I was afraid. I understand. I'm the detective hired to find out who did this to your sister. Will you please tell me what you saw? Of course, for Anna. So tell me. Please, tell me what you saw. Tell me what happened. Anna and I went to bed at 9 p.m. in the first spare bedroom upstairs like we were supposed to. But it's hard to sleep in a new place, you know? We talked for a while and Anna had to get up to use the bathroom. She didn't want to go alone in a strange house, so I went with her. I think it was, oh, maybe 9.20? 
We suddenly heard a gunshot from behind us without warning or reason. I think it might have hit her. I saw blood on her shoulder, but I was too scared to stop. We just ran. Anna tripped and fell behind. I was a coward. I left her. I kept running until I reached the end of the the end at the back of the hallway and ducked into the bathroom. I heard Anna come running up the hallway outside. I heard two more gunshots after that. She screamed. I screamed too, but I was too afraid to do anything. I stayed huddled up in here with the door locked. I knew that Anna was dead, but I couldn't quite make myself believe it until I heard everyone else crying outside. I couldn't come out. I was afraid and ashamed. Maybe I could have saved Anna, but I... Anyone would have been terrified. It's not your fault. Who was chasing you? Did you see what they looked like? I I couldn't see their face. They were wearing a mask. A Halloween mask. How tall were they? Without a man or a woman? Did they say anything? I don't know. I was terrified. It's not like I was going to stop and check their figure. I think it was probably a man, but I don't remember anything else. They didn't speak. I see. Thank you. It looks like there's a gash across your cheek. Did something happen while you were running? Uh, oh, I didn't even notice it before. I was in such a hurry I must have scraped it somewhere without realizing it. A gash? I'm... I'm going out now. I want my boyfriend. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Alright then. Never mind your father. <clears throat> this? Nothing? Okay. Clothes. Magazines. Candles. More magazines. Stash of something or other. Let's take a shower. Oh, okay. You're welcome. Oh, hey. Ah! I heard that you found the second girl safe and sound. That's great. Y yeah, now I... Now might be a good time to focus more on what people saw and heard, aside from just the details of the crime itself, don't you think? I suppose? Everyone's headed downstairs with the safe discovery of the girl. Please join us. I'm looking forward to your conclusions. Okay, lady. Just... Bossy pain in the rear. <laughs> Maybe I should place you on the top of the suspects list. Progress. Oh, that means we should. There should be something else. Amusements and alibis. The victim's sister is safe but shaken. I found her hiding in the <clears throat> in the locked bathroom. She witnessed the crime and gave me an account. The next step is to shift my focus to gathering statements from the rest of the suspects and to search the area downstairs. There's no sign of my memories yet. Huh. Cool. She looks a bit more confident now. Hey, lady. What did you hear slash see? Uh, excuse me. Thank you. Best of luck with your investigation, dear. If you have any questions, I'll answer to the best of my ability. That's nice. You. What were you doing during the party? Where were you when you heard the shots? I'm simply the owner. I had no part in the party and I wasn't invited to. Okay. I simply passed time in the front courtyard outside. It was a lovely summer evening. I only came inside when I heard the gunshots and the resulting commotion. Was anything off about Anna during the party? I was neither part of the party nor of the family, dear. How would I know? Can you think of anyone who might bear a grudge against the victim or the family? I have no true knowledge of the family or the victim. Well, what about you? If you're asking whether I had a motive, I don't believe I do. What would I have to gain from murdering my customer's daughter? Well, I'm about out of time. So next time, we're gonna finish talking to the landlady, and then we're gonna go downstairs, I guess, and talk to everybody else and investigate. So, until next time, bye bye.